I've been seeing a lot of posts online about bacterial vaginosis and how some women are saying that the male partner contributes to this diagnosis as well. And I have to admit, I was scrolling through. It kind of escaped my mind. I forgot to do a deeper dive on it. Um, Tonight, I'm doing my maintenance of certification articles. And uh, one of the articles was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. It's called Male Partner Treatment to Prevent Recurrence of Bacterial Vaginosis. And so I thought this has to be where these posts are coming from. Um, So let's just get into the study because I think it's really interesting. Um, It was a randomized control trial. And in one group, they treated just the women for bacterial vaginosis. In the other group, they treated both partners. They treated them for seven days with the routine course of antibiotics. And for the results, the bacterial vaginosis came back in 35% of women whose partners were treated and in 63% when only the woman was treated. So this is a major drop in recurrence, almost cuts it in half. Um, You know, no major side effects with these antibiotics. The study was even stopped early because the difference was so clear. So um, interestingly, in residency, we were taught that BV was an overgrowth of bacteria because of a pH imbalance in the vagina. Um, We didn't think of it as an STI or sexually transmissible disease, Um, but it turns out that it could be viewed in that way. Um, This is a very early study. Obviously, we need longer follow-up, but maybe BV isn't just a her problem. Maybe it's a couple's problem. Let me know what you think.